Yeah, it was crazy. All right. Uh, you guys are messed up for laughing at that, not me. Okay, that was just an observation. I'm a, I'm a server at a restaurant during the day. I tell people that I'm a server with the same energy that you would tell someone you do heroin. Right? I'm like, I'm Peter, I've been a server for two years now. Uh, I hit rock bottom when I worked at the brewery chain Rock Bottom. For a year and a half. Uh, it's not good. Servers, we are, we are food prostitutes, right? You come to us when you're hungry or horny, we make you feel good. <laughs> Pretend like we care about you, and then if you don't tip us well, we tell everyone you have a small dick. That's what we do. All uh, right, it's true. Servers do not like you. <laughs> don't fall for the server smile. Like, as soon as we go to the back, we are talking shit about you in the kitchen, usually in Spanish, sometimes English. <laughs> but we're calling you out by table number and seat number. We're like, table 34, seat 2, micro penis. And everyone's like, you see it. Yes. Shit we deal with, man. I had a little kid in my restaurant the other day, right? A four-year-old kid. Now, he could have been six. I guess four. I think it would be weird if I just knew what age he was from looking at him. That's a weird talent to have, right? If I could just walk by an elementary school and be like, that's a five-year-old. That's an eight-year-old. Like, that's a red flag. Um, <laughs> you show me a picture of your kid, you're like, that's my kid Jake. He's, and at the same time, we're both like seven. You'd be like, what? <laughs> anyway, young kid in my restaurant is what I'm trying to say. He's sitting there, right? His food got dropped off next to him instead of in front of him, and he turned to his parents and he said, I would never work at this restaurant. These people suck. And his parents didn't do anything. So what I did, I took matters into my own hands. I didn't tell his parents that his meal came with a free cookie at the end of it, and I took that cookie and I ate that shit in the kitchen, and it was delicious. Sometimes you have a parent other people's kids, you know? I was talking shit about him in the kitchen. I was like, little kid, table 34, seat two, micro penis. Probably. He's four. I don't know. <laughs> then I go back out, same kid is playing Grand Theft Auto on his phone. He's killing cops, he's picking up prostitutes, and his mom had the audacity to be like, can he get a chocolate milk with a lid? I'm like, I think he needs a Heineken and a Black and Mild. This kid has four wanted stars. He's killed half the city. He's like, <laughs> good God. <laughs> And another lady come into our restaurant, unsweetened iced tea is what she ordered. 14 sugar packets is what she used. I counted them because I picked that shit up. And then when she left, no tip, but she left her insulin shot on the table. Are you fucking kidding me, man? But I look like I'm wearing scrubs. I'm not handling medical waste. And I knew insulin prices were skyrocketing. I did not know they counted as currency now to just exchange insulin shots. I was like, use 14 packets of sugar. Like, your blood type is Hawaiian punch. Like, you're not gonna live through this. I hope she comes back in, dude. I'm gonna offer her a free cookie and fucking kill her. We <laughs> 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 make her lose a foot or something like that. I mean, goddamn, hit me. <laughs> it's bullshit, dude. <laughs> Food modifications too. If you go to a restaurant, right, just order off the menu. You know, this isn't Chipotle. You're not putting shit together. Just order what's in front of you. You know, I'm sick of that shit. People are coming in all the time like, yeah, can I get a salad, no raisins, add craisins, chicken grilled, not chilled, tomatoes sliced, not diced, add sugar and spice and everything nice. I'm like, are you making a salad or a Powerpuff Girl? What's going on? Do I look like Mojo Jojo to you? Powerpuff reference. Didn't think you'd hear it in my set. There it is. Oh my goodness. That's why I think all servers smoke a little bit of weed, you know, because you gotta put up with that shit. And it's great because you can smoke before your shift, people start hitting you with salad modifications, you get the munchies, you're like, that does sound kind of good, actually. Why don't you get some bacon and some avocado with that? All of a sudden you're upselling, it's like beautiful. <laughs> you gotta be careful. <laughs> I got hot, I remember I used to work in a movie theater, and uh, I got really high before work. I worked in a movie theater during the day, and uh, I was really high, and uh, we had Ted Cruz come into our movie theater to say. Worst celebrity encounter to have, right? Like, who gives a fuck? Uh, and I saw Ted Cruz walking down the hallway, and I'm really high, so I think it's Ted Leonsis who owns the Wizards and the Capitals. 
<laughs> and I'm like confident, like I know who this dude is. And we lock eyes, and Ted Cruz just nodded at me, and I just said, go Wizards. <laughs> and he just kept walking. <laughs> what an asshole, you know? Look, if Harry Potter's not in theaters, and some kid who works at a movie theater comes up to you talking about Wizards, of course you assume he has autism. He should have played along. I'm like, I love wizards and magic, and those are both basketball teams. So I would have been like, me too. What do you think about trains? I'm for them. Uh, this is the kids like trains. I don't know why. This is just something I know. Um, big basketball fan too. Uh, any basketball fans in here? That was one guy raised his hand. No one else? I'm still doing the joke. Fuck you guys. <laughs> I'm a big basketball fan, and uh, you know, what, one thing that pisses me off, man, I was watching the Lakers play the Pelicans the other day, and New Orleans, they were the, they were the New Orleans Hornets, right, for a couple years, and then they become the New Orleans Pelicans. That's such a bullshit mascot for an NBA team. That's not intimidating. Like, Pelicans, that should be a Little League baseball team mascot. After, I mean, after Katrina, they easily could have been the New Orleans Hurricanes. And that's scary as shit. Their mascot could have been a dude floating on a piece of a door. And you would have been like, oh shit, the hurricanes are in town. Fuck. It was scary as hell. <laughs> or the mascot could have been a dude like drenched in water, like running across the TV that he stole across the court. Like, oh shit. That's scarier than a hornet to me. I gotta hide my wallet now. Man. <laughs> uh.